What's up everybody, it's your boy Clayton Philpo and today we're gonna to be talking about a very controversial question. Can you smoke weed and still get into the Marine Corps? So a little bit ago I made a video about the moment of truth at boot camp and that video had a lot of good info, but some of it was kind of vague. Like, should you tell the truth to the recruiter? Should you lie about smoking weed? Should you stay seated at the moment of truth? Those questions didn't really get answered. I'm going to clear up the confusing mess right now with this video. So let's say that you go to the recruiter and you say, you know, I smoked weed a few times in high school, uh, not a big deal. He's like, okay, we're gonna get you a waiver. The first waiver he's gonna get you is called a recruiting station level waiver. This is like a really low level waiver. Essentially, you're just saying, you know, hey, this guy broke the rules. He was a casual user of marijuana, but he's good now, he's good to go. No big deal, it doesn't have to go above our level. Guys, I'm telling you, a recruiter station level waiver is the best case scenario for when you tell them, yes, I smoked weed a few times, it's not a huge deal. But Here's where it gets tricky though. There are four different waivers that they could give you when you say that you've smoked weed. Like I said, the most popular one is that recruiting station level. That means it's like very low level, nobody up here has to know, but you get a low level waiver and they push you on through and you're good to go. That one also doesn't really stop you from getting most jobs. I mean, if you get a recruiting station level waiver, you're pretty much still good to get any job you want. After that, there's the district level waiver. Then there's a regional waiver. And finally, if you've got like some really bad drug use or something like that, they send the waiver all the way up to Marine Corps Recruiting Command at the headquarters level. So the more waivers that you're required to get, the more jobs you're disqualified from. So you'll hear some people say, I went into the recruiter's office and I told him I smoked weed 400 times and I got in no problem. While another person will say, I smoked weed one time and I got denied. This is because the rules are very discretionary and there's no one rule across the entire Marine Corps for the recruiting side. And it's up to the district and even the recruiter to decide who comes into the pool and who gets denied. That seems kind of messed up, doesn't it? Like you'd think there'd be one rule across the entire Marine Corps recruiting that says, you know, if you do this, you're not allowed in. But that's not how it is. And really it kind of makes sense. I mean, if you've got recruiting stations out in like Colorado where weed is legal and pretty much everybody and their brother is smoking it, I'm gonna imagine that they've got much more relaxed rules about getting people into the Marine Corps who have smoked previously. But if you go to a recruiting station in like Tennessee, you know, their rules might be completely different. So I encourage people to be completely honest with their recruiters, right? Like tell them the truth. But what if you tell them the truth, you say, hey, I smoked weed or I experimented with this drug or that drug and they kick you out. Well, what happens then? Do not lose hope yet. By all means, you can go to another recruiter in a neighboring city or town and try to get into their pool. Okay, so here's the thing. Recruiters have quotas to meet each month. They need X amount of people to go to boot camp and X amount of people to enlist in the DEP or else they get in trouble. This creates something called the Alpha Bravo problem. So let's say you have this like shit hot recruiter and he's got like a whole bunch of like really smart dudes, they're PT studs, he's got all of his dudes for boot camp, all the guys in the debt for that month. He doesn't need to waste his time to get you a waiver. Like you're a waste of his time. So he's gonna say no. He's like, oh, you smoked weed? Okay, no, you can't join. But in the next town over, you've got a recruiter that's having trouble meeting his quota. He's got a bunch of like Bravo level uh, recruits where they're like, you know, maybe not too smart. They failed the ASVAB a couple of times or they're not very good at PT. That guy is 10 times more likely to get you a waiver and get you into his pool because if he doesn't, it's his ass. This is a very common problem and I've even heard of people crossing state lines to see another recruiter and get into that person's pool. So what I'm saying is yes, you can absolutely get into the Marine Corps if you've smoked weed. Always, always, always tell your recruiter the truth because that's a surefire way to cover your butt. I know, I know the rules for marijuana are super confusing and there's not like one rule across the entire Marine Corps. Like it's very discretionary, it's very subjective and it's just based on what the recruiter is looking for. If you have one recruiter that turns you down, don't be afraid to go into another town or another city and try that recruiter. You know, try two or three recruiters and try your luck there. Now, of course, you can't do drugs when you're in the depth and you definitely don't wanna go see a recruiter if you've smoked weed in the past 90 days. I mean, it's not worth it. They're gonna give you a piss test at MEPS. They're gonna give you a piss test once you get down to boot camp. And if you've already talked to your recruiter about smoking weed and he's cleared you with a waiver, you don't have to worry about the moment of truth. And just know there's a difference between casual drug use and a dependency. I mean, if you have a dependency, they're not gonna let you in. But if you've smoked weed either, I've seen people either say they smoked weed a few times or a hundred times or a thousand times and still get in. It's just a matter of finding the right recruiter that will let you in and you know, just staying at it. Go to another neighboring city, go to another town, 
Like I said, I've seen people travel even across state lines to try to find a recruiter that will let them in. Guys, I hope this video cleared up a lot of confusion and answered your questions about joining the Marine Corps after you've smoked weed. Please, please, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments, did this video help you out? Also, I wanna know what resolutions you guys have for the year ahead. How are you gonna make yourself better for the next year? I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and we'll see you next time.